Hey, what's going on guys? Coach Austin here from PT Square going over this week's fitness Bible study. This week, our passage comes from the book of Philippians chapter four, verses 12 and 13. It reads, I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Look, we have the ability. We know who to lean to during our times of hunger, during our times of abundance. We have the strength. We need to lean into where it is coming from, okay? We've talked about discipline before. God tells us we need discipline in our lives. It is wise to have discipline and structure in our lives. We know where we get strength from. Paul talks about it through pretty much every single one of his letters to the churches. He brings it here again. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But he says, I know how to be brought low. I know how to abound. I know how to go through trials. I know how to go through suffering. I know how to come up through them. He is writing this in prison. He knows what it's like to be held down, to be locked down, and still find joy in your circumstances. No matter what the circumstances are, we need to find joy. No matter what the circumstances are, we have that strength. Make sure you utilize that strength. Make sure you're piecing all these uh, different verses together to realize that Everything works together. Yes, we need discipline. Yes, we need to be able to find happiness and find joy through our trials and tribulations like we've talked about from the book of James. But he re reiterates it here. I know how to be uh, how to be brought low and I know how to abound in every circumstance I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. He's been through it all. I know you are, might be going through something uh, something good, maybe something not so good, okay? We know where our strength, strength comes from. Remind yourself of that this week.